Hello again, it's old Jim and today we're doing a cheap, economical cottage pie with only four ingredients. Very tasty and uh, very healthy really, it's very high in protein. So here we go, I hope you enjoy it. First ingredients, two medium sized onions. There we are, that's ingredient number one. So we'll just give it a mix up. Two onions, but just medium onions. You don't have to have very large onions, but it's up to you. Right, now into this, we had a can of corned beef that I've cubed, as you can see. Lovely corned beef, look, it's lean. Real good stuff, that. Very high in protein, so in goes the corned beef. And again, so we'll just, just mix them together as best we can. But they will get mixed up later when we get the moist ingredient in. There we are, that's two of the ingredients. Right, here we go, ingredient number three. And remember this pie, you won't find it in the posh restaurants, but it, it'll feed about six when we've done. So in go the beans, you've all seen beans before, haven't we all? <laughs> there we are, one can of beans. So now, just gently as best you can, mix it all up. Because the, the beans bring the moisture into the mix, as you can see. Spread it round as best you can. Right, I think that should do now. So that's your onions, your corned beef and your baked beans. Right, we're now going to put the entire mixture into the cooking dish. This is the dish that we'll cook it in. It may look a bit confused and a bit of a jumble but uh, the flavours there, believe you me. Right now, so we just tamp it, spread it round. It's not critical that it's flat, but obviously if there's mashed potatoes going on top, you need a fairly solid base. So there we are, that's the three of the ingredients in the uh, cooking dish. And now for ingredient number four, mashed potatoes. In this case, I've used frozen from the supermarket and cooked them in the microwave, but you can make mashed potatoes the normal way that you do make mashed potatoes. So here we go, this is the topping. Just put it on in lumps. He said, good stuff, this sticks to the spoon. Just pile it on nice and gentle and then we're going to sep spread it with a, a fork. So there we are. We'll see how this goes now. I'll get my fork and we'll spread the topping nice and gentle as best you can. I like to do one side and then do the other. 
Uh, well, just to spread the mashed potatoes out, we just need a bit more down this side, so here we go. And we'll make it look pretty when we've got it spread to our satisfaction. Now we can do with just a bit more, I think, just a wee bit more. There, and... So we've used... Uh, Oh, sorry about that. Oh. Right. Nice and steady. I'm going to spin it round now. I will do the other side. Here we go. Right, now let's we'll get some ridges and make it look a bit prettier. Plant field effect. But also these ridges go lovely brown when we're cooking it. There we are. If you want you can make a little hole just to make it look like traditional pie. But it shouldn't be needed if we've got the right amount. And that's it, it's ready for the oven. Right, here we go into a preheated oven. They look a bit pale, but it'll brown up nicely. There we are, a lovely pie a can of corned beef, a can of baked beans and two medium onions topped with mashed potato. It's enough there to feed six. Easy. Right, here we go. We'll, uh, nice skin on top. You'll find it's a good substantial meal for very little cost. So there we are. That's highly recommended cottage pie on a budget.